everybody, it's Man Bear Moose, and today I am back with another Clash of Clans video, and today I'm going to be covering the update. Woo! And don't worry about my trophies, that is completely something different. But what we're going to be doing is looking at the news. Look at this. Clans are leveling up. So, in the new update, we have now a clan XP level. And I think there are 10 levels that can be achieved through this. Right now we are level one, obviously, uh, just like everyone else. And so we can level up our clan during clan wars. Our, uh, and and uh, new banners and uh, new clan shields and whatnot. Um, and the, uh, I'm reading here that uh, clan levels grant perks and uh, and prestiges and all the other stuff. And you can unlock new new badges and banners. And that is super cool. Can't wait to do that kind of stuff. I really did like uh, the old badge, as you see here. But I am really really partial to orange and black. And so it's what I've always wanted to have an orange and black logo. And that was one thing that was just not able to uh, to be done until now. And as you see, we are level one. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking just a little bit longer at the news here before we can go into the thing. Game Gameplay balancing and upgrades. Cannons now are level 13 and, and uh, they pack even more of a punch apparently. Healers no longer trigger air traps, which is actually really, really interesting. It's like, I wonder why they decided to do that. Then just keep them clear of the air defense now. I gotta tell you, I'm not a really big fan of the healers at the moment. Um, just because they seem to kind of focus on like one group and they don't split off to like other groups. If the healers then went, you know, from one group to like another, so you could have like two groups of, you know, and healer on one and healer on the other, then I really think that, uh, that would be better, but it's cool that they would don't, uh, trigger air traps or air bombs anymore, I guess. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so that's a cool. Anyway, clan castle troop deployment is no longer, um, prevented by tri uh, by trapping on or tripping on obstacles so that's cool as you see there's a couple obstacles and sometimes people have their things around here by clicking anywhere near here um, will I guess just drop the the um, the clan castle on one side or the other and so uh, instead of it being uh, just on one side but we'll we'll have to really see how that works and whatever actually in the last clan war, um, I ended up uh, m messing up because I accidentally didn't drop my clan castle where I wanted it to and then realized that it didn't go and I'm like, oh. and then I got a one star and I wasn't so happy. <laughs> anyway, the biggest thing in here, which is the coolest thing there is, um, I think that this is something that everyone has been asking for for a very, very long time, ever since uh, I, I would probably say the second or third clan w war week where uh, clan wars opt in, opt out. Um, and the clan leader, which is me, I'm gonna have to check that out in a little bit, um, now can pick exactly who they want to go to war, and, uh, and yeah, that is great. So now I can finally do my 10v10 clan war, where we pick absolutely the best raiders uh, and the best uh, uh, fighters in, in, in the clan and go 10v10 versus uh, another clan that hopefully, um, well... <laughs> and hopefully we will just destroy we'll have to find out we'll definitely have to see that in the future new profile settings shows other clan mates if you if uh if you want them to go to war so let's see let's check that out right now let's go to the clan here and let's just pick uh somebody here um let's just pick joe because he as uh, as you see he has already decided that he does not want to go to war which is completely cool let's go to his profile and check this out and what we do is I'm just going to hit the info button just right above his town hall. And look at that. You can kind of see his base and his base layout and all that other cool stuff. I think that is cool. And yeah. Yeah. Now I wonder how I can say, well, let, let's actually, let's, let's go to somebody. Let's go to somebody else here. Um, oh my gosh. I almost hit click, <laughs> kick out. No, I don't want to kick you out. I'm sorry, dude. Let's uh, check out Ab. Ab. Bob D. Is that Bob? No, that's Bob D. Abo. Abo D. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to butcher your name like that. You know, man, you know me. I'm just terrible at reading. 
but you seem to be like you're on your game here so we want you to go to war where where do i like you know like decide who goes to war or not well actually man this is one of those weird moments where i war has ended okay so let's start a new war huh do i have to then start war in order for dude to do that thing well not sure exactly how, how I am the one to decide who goes and who doesn't go to war um, just because um, yeah anyway I'm all the way down here because I am doing uh, my uh, adventures adventures under 200 trophies and I just got down there I have yet to do one but let's just let's just check out how this thing is I guess I have to go to my profile and then here I can look at my base and then here, Clan Wars, I'm in, I'm out. So I can decide if I don't want to go to war. I can hit like I'm in. <laughs> or I can hit I'm out. And then that makes it, makes it, oops. Um, if we go all the way down here, it looks like, yeah. So the little red thing comes up and says, hey, I don't want to go to war. I'm out. But I'm in until the end. So there it goes, it goes green. And uh, yeah, so all right, so let's uh, let's see what else is in the news. Um, <clears throat> yeah, choose big or small wars. The larger wars can be worth more clan XP. So if we if all the clan does go to um, go go to war, then maybe we get more XP. But I still want to do my my 10 v 10. I think that would be really cool. And then maybe we can do a 10 uh, or 15 v 15. I definitely think we, we probably will be going to more war more often. I need to pick a new co leader in order to do that because I need I guess help um making uh you know uh I, I, I guess someone else that could be in charge of wars and that will take take just as much responsibility for wars as i do um and the other co-leaders do and so maybe one more co-leader that is definitely uh you know gearing up for war and that wants to go to war more often let me know down in the comments if you're part of my clan and you want to go to war more often and actually if you're not part of the clan and you want to go to war more often and maybe you want to join and you are yeah, you have the troops ready to do all that kind of stuff because you need you know kind of good troops in order to be the co-leader i would say you would probably need to be a pretty maxed out town hall eight in order for that to happen but but we'll see and uh, let me know if you're interested in that position and uh, then uh, we can see what's going up so let's see this power up your clan with clan perks so request for troops more often and donate more troops at a time hmm get refund refunds and automatic upgrades on your troop donate uh, on on your donated troops that's pretty cool um refunds i'm not sure exactly what that's going to do if, if that's going to give someone else like hence like if someone donates me a dragon and then i refund it will i get the elixir or will the elixir go back to the donator hmm gonna have to figure that one out as time goes by but it's cool the automatic upgrades on donated troops because a lot of times when i'm waiting for those level six balloons and i think only like two or three i think yeah i think only, only two others in the clan have level six um uh, balloons I th actually no, i think it's three um but yeah I, then i can take level five or level four and maybe they'll go up to level six we'll have to see that one also as that goes on increase your clan war loot bonus which is super cool and uh, i lost where i was <laughs> your your clan war loot bonus and store more in your in your clan castle that is going to be great uh, we'll, have, we'll have to check out these perks in, in a little bit so we'll, we'll do we'll, we'll just kind of go here um, and uh, clan perks unlock automatically and improve your level of, uh, you know, on your clan. Cool, that's really great. And before we go and look at the very last thing, let's look at the clan perks here really quickly. So we're level one, earn XP uh, and level up your clan to unlock powerful perks. Clan XP can be, can be earned by completing in clan war. So we're gonna probably go to, gonna go to clan war pretty soon here um today's tuesday and we'll probably give it a day and then we'll go on thursday just like uh just like we, we've been doing the past couple weeks and maybe by then what we can do is we can find another one so level two is we get extra war loot storage by 10 percent. we need 500 xp to do that and troop request time instead of it being 20 minutes is now 15 minutes that would actually be a pretty good uh, upgrade and we should probably get that one as soon as possible Level three, 
donation refund 20% of the troop cost. That's cool. Um, and extra an extra loot bonus. So that is that is where we probably want to be. We want to get to level three as soon as we can because then we can get 10% more, which would be awesome. I mean, I usually get, I mean, usually, if uh, on a good clan war and we win, I usually get maybe about just a little bit less than 800,000 each. And so an extra, an extra 10%, that would be pretty good. I'd like that. Donation limit, six troops. Ooh, instead of five, an extra loot storage. Uh, in the in the clan castle that's that seems pretty cool and as you see down here uh, if you look down at the very bottom uh, if you look underneath the uh, the badge now there's this little little thing down there and I think that changes as we level up yes and look at level 10 down there with a little X <clears throat> or, or like the little boo <laughs> I think that's pretty funny so we probably won't be getting to level 6 or level 7 or level 8 uh, or level 10 for a while. We'll have to see how much XP we get from wars and uh, and Yeah, so let's let's just uh, look at the clan editor just for a little bit um, Let's just Opt <laughs> Out And yeah, so we can save that um, Oops Let's go back to edit and let's just edit this thing here and you as you see I love the orange I love the black um, there isn't so many other uh, orange and black and so, I really wanted to keep the original um, the original uh, kind of badge but you know kind of put our little you know put twist on it the red and black also look really cool and the yellow and black looks really cool and the black on black <laughs> Uh, so you can't even see it at all, but I do I do like the uh, the um, I wish that you could change the colors of this so hence if I wanted to have this but in orange No, I can't have that or I can only choose between here So it sucks that I can't like change the colors to so many things, but I, I do like I do like this This looks pretty cool. Maybe blue now You can definitely go with the black and that kind of stuff and as you see we kind of get more more stuff as time goes by you can have up to 20 of these. Ah, oh, that would be kind of cool, but I guess we have to, we unlock these, unlock, upgrade your clan, oh, upgrade your clan to level two in order to unlock this one here. Two, 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 three. So we gotta do it for three and then four, and then yeah, as these things go by, um, yeah, we're gonna have to get more levels through that. So we really wanna get to level two so that we can put a little border around our, our little thing there and, uh, and yeah, so I guess we'll keep that uh, as it is, and we'll save this. So now that is uh, that, that kind of stuff. Anyway, and, uh, what I also wanted to do in this video was to promote um, a, a, a member to Elder, and, uh, and 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 whatnot. And I just absolutely could not decide um, who it was going to be, uh, and so I decided. That is is going to be, I think, two two people that will that will get the uh, the elder status. And these two people, they actually haven't been in the clan that long. But since they've been in the clan, they've been extremely active. They've been very very up in the chat, and uh, and, and and definitely giving their opinion on different things. And that's exactly what I want. Um, it's not about how. Um, how, how much you donate and though donations are very important especially if you're higher levels you want to really help out the low level people and whatnot and so and so I've decided that I'm going to um, well let's do a say hi to YouTube and what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're, we're going to be giving out the promotions and so the first person I really wanted to um, go and promote is actually one of the people who decided to come along with me on this uh, journey down to the 200 mark, and uh, Kaden, congratulations! You're now elder. I really do like what you do to the uh, to the clan, and uh, I really feel like you bring a whole lot to it. And I guess what's going to be happening is <laughs> we're going to get a little bit of a chat here and whatnot. <laughs> Um, but like I said, there was going to be two people that were going to be, um, that were going to receive the promotion because I just absolutely could not choose between the two people, these two people and Bishop is the other. And I, I really like, uh, Bishop. I think he's, he's a really great, 
a, a great member and I'm sure he's going to make a great elder and actually he actually could make a really good uh, co-leader if he wants to take over war and I would be very happy if he steps up to do that kind of thing so congratulations Bishop I think you're an awesome awesome guy I think you've run your own clan before so you know how hard it is and you know what has to be done and so congratulations dude you're now elder So yeah, so those will be the uh, the uh, the, um, the promotions that are given this time. Once again, if you guys are interested in co-leader and whatnot, then just let me know. We can talk it out and see if you would be a good match for the co-leader position and all that stuff. But that will be it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. It's so cool that the new update is here. And uh, oh yeah, we did the clan badge editor. We kind of did that in the in the. Uh, I just didn't read it, um, but we kind of showed that already. What a cool update. I'm so glad that this opt-in and opt-out thing kind of worked out. And the fact that maybe I could opt out of war is is really cool because then, you know, if I'm super busy, there was one time over Christmas I was super busy and uh, it just like, I just couldn't do it. And, uh, but yet I had to fight because everyone else wanted to go to a Christmas war. And, um, but yeah. That word didn't didn't, uh, didn't go very well. <laughs> but anyway, that will be it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's get the chat up in here so that they can they can do that uh, that kind of stuff. So I am um, yeah very happy about these promotions. I hope that uh, everybody is okay with that. Um, there has been talk between me and Bus about some of the uh, uh, demotions, um, so that once you make elder, you have to then continue to. Uh, to, to do what you have to do as an elder and, and so unfortunately I, I'm, I'm not gonna do it in the video but um, we're going to have to um, demote some uh, some people uh, not that I want to but it's something I'm gonna have to do I'm sorry all right and so what we're gonna be doing in, in the next video is uh, we're going to be uh, doing a hog raid uh, in the sub 200 stuff but that is for another video once again my name is man bear moose you guys have a great rest of your day and definitely stick around for more content. Sorry, this video went kind of long. Update videos. Yeah. Woo! I'll cut some stuff out. All right, cut. All right. See you guys later in the next video. See ya.